Greetings and thank you for the opportunity of journeying with you each day through this week. It's been a delight to take a few moments and just uh, meditate in the Word and encourage our hearts. This week we have been reflecting on Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 1, where the Apostle Paul instructs us saying, Be imitators of God as dear children. And uh, we've talked about the various ways in which we can imitate God. The way we see things, and the way we think, and the way we speak, and the way we act or do things. And ultimately, that's going to result in us revealing Him to others. There's one more aspect of imitating God, outcome, or objective in imitating God, which is to represent God. Again, going back to Genesis, when God said that he's making man in his own image and likeness, he went on to put man on the earth and then delegated him or bestowed upon him authority on the earth. He said, you know, I'm giving you a dominion on the earth to subdue, to replenish, to be in charge. In effect, God, is, God was saying, I want you not only to reveal me, but I also want you to represent me. So man was created in the original design, in the image and likeness of God, to both reveal God and represent God. That means to act on this earth in the place of God, on the behalf of God, to represent God as his delegate, so to speak. So when we imitate God, we are actually representing God in life situations. We become His voice. We become His hands, His feet. We become a small embodiment of Him in that situation. While people may not be able to touch, see, and experience God, personally or directly, through us, they can get a little taste of God. They can experience a little bit of God. I'm not saying we are God. I'm just saying God's given us this opportunity to represent Him. And people can experience a little bit of who God is through our lives if we be imitators. What an honor. What a privilege. Paul said, be imitators of God as dear children. And you understand that as children grow up, at some point, parents are going to send their sons and daughters on their behalf on various assignments. Hey, can you go do this for me? Go there for me and tell them I sent you and do this. Do they actually representing the parent? That's exactly what happens when we become imitators of God. God authorizes us, authorizes us to represent Him. It's a great honor, but we must first make the choice to imitate God. Let's pray. Father, we ask you that you'll help us represent you. Wherever we go in various situations of life, even as we imitate you, give us the grace, empower us to do this. Be revealed through us and be represented through us here on earth so others may get a little taste of you, O oh God through our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.